Yeah, uh, your 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 device's volume is fine. I I just wanted to freak one of you out for a split second. So we have two Umbreon packs for Evolving Skies and three Sylveon packs. Uh, these also came from the recent Walmart haul. I know it's only five packs, but I think it's interesting enough for a video. Let's go ahead and start off with our Sylveon here. If I can pop this thing open, that would be nice. Holy God. All right. So, of course, we actually have a Sylveon inside. Look at that. And let's hope we can get some more good pulls. This will literally mean that I've only opened, I think, 12 Evolving Skies packs now. It's bad that I've opened so few, I know how many it's been. So, let's pull this thing out of here. And this should be a pull, yes. So there's the code card. And we're gonna do one, two, three, to the front, get rid of our grass energy. And we have a Floet, Boost Shake, woo, and a Shellgun as all of our uncommons. Moving on to the Apple, the Puppy, the Amolga Little Flying Rat, the Tentacle Punkaboo, Crystal Cave as our reverse. But our last card is going to be special. I can feel it. I can feel it in my soul. My soul lied to me. All right, Umbreon. Umbreon is what we needed. Uh, this is These are the ones that have all the good cards. If you go to the store and see Evolving Skies packs, but there are no Umbreons, uh, don't buy them. You won't get any good pulls. I'm a professional. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, there we go. Sylveon pack inside of the Umbreon sleeve, because that makes sense. Come on, open. We want to preserve packs here. We want to keep these things pristine so I can fill them with energies and be a happy little nerd. All right. Slide these cards out, and there is your code card. Going one, two, three to the front. Get rid of the fire energy, and we have the bull door. The weird thing of rocks that somehow moves, just like Geodude. We have Aroma Lady. She just produces Aroma, apparently. Uh, the Moon and Sun Badge. I still hate your name. I should say Sun and Moon Badge. Uh, Glossifleur. We have Feebas as a rapid strike. I can't see his single strikes being very effective. We have the Hippopotamos. We have the Dog. We have the Fox. I can't just say the Fox. I like saying Nicket too much. So we have the Nicket. Uh, we have the Cutie Fly as a reverse. And man... The, the straightforward angle doesn't work for you. Stick with profile. But on the end, we have... Really? Really? Gyarados VMAX. I have only done... 12. 12 in total Evolving Skies packs. That, that's, that's saying all of these included. Uh, the ones I haven't opened yet. And we pulled a Gyarados VMAX as a duplicate. We pulled one of these in a very, very recent video. I actually think it was two videos ago. But okay, we have two Gyarados VMAXs. Hopefully it has some value, and I don't just have a duplicate of something that, you know, doesn't have any value behind it. But either way, I'm happy to have him. I don't remember how much he was worth. I, I know I did the price check on him, but the fact that I don't remember it isn't that hopeful. All right, let's do another Sylveon pack. And hopefully, be able to open this thing up without destroying the pack that's inside. That seems to be a fight for me anymore. And there's an Umbreon inside the Sylveon. We have not gotten a single of the, uh, the Skyscraper dude or the Rayquaza out of these. We've just been going back and forth between the two that happened to be on the cardboard packs we bought. And on the inside, we have the code card. One, two, three, to the front. Get rid of our psychic. And we have the Falafi. Also, it's psychic. So uh, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to be psychic here and say we ain't going to get no pulls. We have bravery in switching cups. I don't think I have you yet. So pretty neat. We have the Sable Eye Teddy Ursa. The Electric Sheep followed by the Zorora. Going to our tentacle. That's pretty nice artwork. I actually like that. So like the the paper lanterns there in the back. For our reverse, we have a Nicket. And on the end, 
We have nothing. I called it. We have an Altaria. Lame. Maybe we should start doing that. You know, like certain YouTubers like, uh, you know, like Leon Hart has his like guess the energy and crap like that. I'm just going to guess if we're going to get a pull or not anytime we get a psychic energy. <laughs> what an exciting game to play. All right, let's pull this. Oh, I ruined it. And I revealed the code card color. I'm double stupid here but I will uh, blur it out so you guys don't get spoiled. There's the code card. We do three to the front, get rid of an energy. And we have the Stormy Mountains, Bulldore, and Skip Loom as a rapid strike. Going to the commons, followed, starting with the Hippopotamus, the, the puppy, the fox, the bird, I still can't just say fox. I have to say Nicket, its name is too fun. The Roggen Rolla, Tropius as a reverse. I actually loved Tropius as a kid, and I don't know why. Like, Tropius is not nearly one of my favorites now, but as a kid, he was definitely up there for me. But on the end, we have... Really? Glacion V. Look at that boy. That is sick. Well, all you Glacion lovers out there, now you get to see the card in the hands of a monkey. I mean, it looks... Freaking awesome. I, I really don't like spoiling myself on a lot of sets, so I haven't really looked into this set much. I really do need to do a little more research, though. Now now that it's not really a blind go-in, now that I've actually done some, I should probably do some more research. I know all the evolutions are in here, though, because um, it's kind of like the theme of it, at least in the Japan version. But Glaceon, as a hollow, I put him in a Blastoise sleeve. It's, I, it's water. It's kind of fitting, I suppose. Um, I don't really have any... Oh, I do have an ice sleeve near me. I'm dumb. I have the ice rider. I'm stupid. Well, you gotta go on an ice rider sleeve. I'm sorry, Blastoise. You are being dethroned today. Bam. Now he is in the ice rider sleeve, and soon he will be in a hard sleeve. Sweet. And the last pack of the day. We have another Sylveon cardboard piece. Open up this very tight glue, pull out the... Oh god, they glued the pack. They glued the pack. It's cool, it's just really sticky at the top. That's good, it's also another Sylveon pack. You know, we're gonna open it from the bottom so I don't touch the glue. Um, yeah, I, th thanks Pokemon Company. We have a code card and we do one, two, three, to the front, get rid of the fire. And, speaking of fire, we have the Pyroar Vigoroth and the Treasure Energy. Well, we we have a fire pack and a treasure at the back of it. We'll, we'll see. We got two hints dropping. Uh, we got Drowsy Flabebe as a rapid strike. Roggen Rolla. We have the Psyduck chilling out at the beach. Swabaloo doing whatever the hell they do. Thievil as a reverse. Okay, not too bad. We got our little mustachioed fox. Uh, yeah, it does have a mustache. I was say, I didn't see the mustache there. I just wasn't looking in the right spot. You know, it's usually right, uh, you know, between like the nose and the lips. And the last card is the Ampharos. Woo. Also, I like that I said usually it's between the nose and the lips. Where else would it be? It is time for your end of video recap. We are starting off with the reverses with the Crystal Cave. The Cutie Fly, Nicket, Tropius, and the Thievil. Going to our good pulls, of course, we have another Gyarados VMAX. Still one of the nicer looking VMAX cards. And the Glaceon V, which just looks awesome. I love that artwork. It looks like it belongs on some, like, Cartoon Network animated show. Like, it just, I, I love the art style on that thing. So... If you liked this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I, I promise you it's not worth it. Don't do it. It is a terrible idea. And hopefully I will see all of you next time if you're also bad at making decisions. Uh, goodbye. Forever or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Bye.